In this video, we will cover the procedure for assigning which doors and subs call which masters. We will also show the optional features for each door as well as how to set up the masters for a scan monitor. The registering station steps must be performed prior to continuing. Select Advanced Station Settings from the menu on the left. The table displayed will only show the devices that were registered during the registering station step. You may either program stations individually or as a group. To program stations as a group, they must all be the same type of unit. Programming steps are similar for each of the calling station types. In this example, we will select all the video door stations by clicking on the video door station button. You'll notice that a box has been checked next to each video door station. Click the Advanced Settings button. A new window will open. If this does not happen, make sure that your pop-up blocker is turned off. In the new window, you have the choice of clicking on Called Stations button or the other button. Click the Called Stations button. A new window will open. From this window, you can choose the call priority level from the drop-down box. We will keep the call at a normal level. Click the Reference button. A new window will appear. From the new window, you can reference the masters that you want the doors to call by clicking on the checkbox next to the appropriate master. If you want to select them all, click on the checkbox at the top. Once the masters are selected, click the Close button. The masters you selected will now be displayed on the Called Stations page. If there is a master that you want to remove from the list, select it by clicking the checkbox next to it, and then click on the Delete button. When you are done, click on the Close button to close this window. Click on the Other button. A new window will appear. These are the optional features for the video door stations that you can manage. In this example, we will turn on the Transmit Volume Boost at Push to Talk by clicking on the appropriate radio button. When you have made all your changes, click the Close button. Click the Close button one more time to get back to the original system setting page. We'll uncheck the boxes next to the video door stations and check the boxes next to the ISS audio stations. We'll repeat the process that we did for the video doors for this audio door. Next, click the Advanced Settings button. A new window will open. Click the Called Stations button, opening another window. From this window, choose the call level from the drop-down box. In this case, we'll select Priority. Click on the Reference button. A new window will open. From this window, you will reference the masters that you want these doors to call by clicking on the checkbox next to the appropriate master. If you want to select them all, click on the checkbox at the top. Once the masters are selected, click the Close button. The masters you have selected will now be displayed on the Called Station page. If there is a master that you want to remove from the list, select it by clicking the checkbox next to it, and then click on the Delete button. When done, click the Close button to close the window. Next, click on the Other button. A new window will appear. These are the optional features for the audio door stations that you can manage. In this example, we will turn on the Transmit Volume Boost at Push to Talk by clicking on the appropriate radio button. When you have made all your changes, click the Close button. Click the Close button again to get back to the original System Settings page. Now uncheck the boxes next to the audio door stations and check the boxes next to the ISRS room stations. We will repeat the process we did for the video doors and audio doors once again for the room subs. Click the Advanced Settings button. A new window will open. Click the Called Stations button, opening another window. From this window, choose the call level from the drop-down box. We will select the Urgent level for these units. Click on the Reference button. A new window will open. From this window, you will reference the masters that you want these room stations to call, clicking on the checkbox next to each appropriate master. If you want to select them all, click on the checkbox at the top. Once you've selected your masters, click the Close button. The masters you have selected will now be displayed on the Called Station page. If there is a master that you want to remove from the list, select it by clicking the checkbox next to it, and then click on the Delete button. When done, click the Close button to close the window. Next, click the Contact Input button. 
The ISRS will allow for connection of a secondary button or switch. The secondary button can call in at a different priority than the button on the front of the unit. Use the drop down to select the call priority for the contact input. Click the close button. Next, click on the other button. A new window will appear. These are the optional features for the room substations that you can manage. Make any adjustments you desire. If you are using an external speaker with the ISRS, you will need to select external speaker. This is a software setting, not a physical switch on the unit. You will not be making any changes in this example. Click the close button to close this window. Click close again to return to the system settings page. Uncheck the ISRS room substations and check all the masters by clicking on the Select All by Type Master Station button. Click the Advanced Settings button. A new window will open. Click on Stations to be scanned monitored. Here you will select the doors, subs, or rooms you want to be included in a scan monitor by the master. If you do not desire this feature, you can close this window. In this example, we will select all subs and doors. Click the Reference button. A list of all our doors and subs that we have registered will be shown. Click the check mark on the top of the checkbox column to select all stations. Click Close to close this window. All stations that have been selected will appear in this list. Click Close to close this window. Click Close again to return to the System Setting page. All subs and doors have been assigned to call stations, and we have set the masters to scan monitor all subs and doors. When done making your changes, click the temporarily stored button. If everything is correct, you'll see a red message displayed at the top and bottom of the screen, letting you know that the changes will not occur until the system is updated. After temporarily storing your settings, you can either update the system or go on to the next video in this series.